you know, in, in, the, in the late '90s, you you had a very successful acquisition, um, got into an immense position of privilege financially. Uh, you started Canonical. You've been doing Canon. You've been working at at this whole space for 17, 18 years now. Um, you you talked about what keeps you going. You're stubborn. Um, you have a vision. But you know, whenever I've listened to you in keynotes, which has been several times live. Um, you know, I love the the approach you take, which is very visionary and very atypical to others. So I do see like there, there's a vision that you have. And so I just want to understand, like in life, how how do you want to be remembered? Um, and not to be morbid, because I don't see death as morbid. But, you know, how do you want to be remembered? Say, outline, but, but um, for longevity would be nice. Right? What's your, what's your, let's say you have um, a good 50 years of life. But how do you want to be remembered? What's your legacy that you want to leave behind? Yeah. Oh, I, <laughs> I think if you look up at night and you get a small sense of the vastness of the universe, then the idea of being remembered for everything sort of melts away, right? At the end of the day, you know, how, how does... How does a, a string of algae in a pond want to get remembered? You, you know what I mean? It's just not like that. I think we, we're inclined to see life through the lens of the living, but the universe doesn't. Um, so, you know, I, I think there are some things that are important. Um, I'd like to kind of put all the carbon that I've put into the air, I'd like to put that back into the ground. Um, I'd like uh, people who worked with me um, to have some empathy for, you know, what I did and why I did it. I'd like um, to leave some gardens and public spaces that people will enjoy. Um, but for the rest, I'm just trying to do the thing that seems like the right, best, most interesting thing to do, which is a pretty selfish way of looking at it, right? Um, what other people make of it? I don't know. Do you know who Sheikh Musa is? Have you ever heard of Sheikh Musa? No, I haven't. Who's that? How interesting. Would it surprise you to know that the richest guy who ever lived came from Mali in West Africa. That, that's some um, Black Panther stuff right there, Wakanda stuff right there. I like it. But, I guess, but, but yeah. my, my point is that we, we sort of fixated with being remembered on weird time scales, you know. So Musa lived, I think, in about 1200. He's the richest guy who ever lived, like by, by many, many orders of magnitude, right? And nobody's heard of him. And I think that's great. I think it's super important to remember that, right? Like we're, we're, um, we're, we're scratching around in our era uh, and to people a hundred years from now, things that we take, you know, uh, you know, as signs of great sophistication will be seen to be very primitive, right? So I'll probably be remembered for being a vicious meat eater, um, you know, more than anything else, right? <laughs> 